It's a Tuesday morning and uh, we thought we'd take just a minute to give a quick update to the church. Uh, things seem to be really changing on the fly and uh, while they're doing that we're working hard to uh, put ministry practices in place that will be a help to our people and help the church continue to be healthy. I was reminded over the weekend that uh, we've had a lot of years of, of focus and emphasis on big gatherings and the worship service is really essential to what we've been doing. And uh, we're going to go into a season where that is going to be taken away from us and we're probably going to have to do more about putting ministry into practice. So all that we've been taught and focused on learning the Word of God is going to have to be put into action in our church. I'm actually excited about that and I think that this could be a fresh wind and a fresh season of ministry um, as we adjust and change to what's happening around us. You're going to notice some things a little bit different. We've asked our staff to contact every member in our church, starting with our elderly members. And we began that already on yesterday. And uh, we're just trying to show care and make sure that we do a wellness check on people and make sure that our communication lines are established. And then we're going to move into some things Daniel's going to talk to you about as far as group life and, and beginning to activate the church. Remember, the book of Acts teaches us this, that the early church... Uh, gathered house to house and they gathered on a day-by-day -day basis and they met needs in kind of a fluid way as needs came available or needs came up they, they met those needs in a practical way that's the style of ministry that we think we're going to be doing we'll couple it together with online communications and uh, some things that we can do to communicate with every age group in our church let me let <clears throat> pastor daniel talk to you about the logistics for a minute and uh, i hope that you'll uh, lean in and help us during this season uh, to care for one another and uh, advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right, church, like Pastor Tom said, it's really important that you understand this, that ministry uh, in this new season is not stopping. Uh, in fact, uh, we finished meeting with all of our staff yesterday and even this morning. We're ramping up, but it is going to look very uh, different. I'm going to kind of just walk through the big blocks of ministry and uh, talk to you about uh, our plan for the, uh, for the for foreseeable future and certainly in the next few weeks ahead. Uh, just like last weekend, all of our worship gatherings, again, this weekend at both locations are going to be online. I uh, really would encourage you to make that a real uh, intentional part of your Sunday morning experience. Uh, they'll be available at our regular scheduled worship times as well as a couple of alternate times uh, throughout the day. Um, on Sunday and uh, we are looking forward to the online gathering of God's people uh, for worship and the word. You can uh, uh, access that on our website uh, and our social media uh, channels. Kids ministry uh, is going to be moving completely online. Our kids team has a fantastic plan with worship, kids lessons, activities. Uh, they're even going to be doing, coming up in a couple days, you'll see this uh, kind of an interactive experience online uh, for our kids during the week. And so be looking for the communication for that. The Sunday experience is going to be available Sunday morning on our website and on all of, all of our social media channels. Our student ministry is not stopping, it is continuing. Uh, they have several things planned for online gatherings. They're gonna be gathering beginning this Wednesday night on Instagram Live at 6.30. And so uh, make sure your students, sixth through 12th grade, uh, take care of that for the foreseeable future. They're planning uh, that midweek gathering in addition to resources uh, that they're gonna, um, they're gonna make available. Our group ministry uh, is going to be changing uh, very significantly, again, uh, moving much of it uh, into a digital gathering. This weekend, our group leaders will be communicating with you uh, that uh, they're gonna encourage you to do online watch parties uh, for the service on Sunday, and then gonna be equipping all of our group leaders with tools so that they can begin to meet online with our groups, as well as some other ways and for those uh, groups that may have difficulty uh, accessing, accessing the internet or uh, accessing social media uh, and those kinds of tools. Groups teams working hard to make groups viable. And again, we think ministry is going to continue uh, that way. And then Pastor Tom already alluded to it. Uh, all of our staff, our deacons, uh, our leaders, volunteer teams, we are ramping up. Uh, for a intensive amount of member care as uh, we begin to reach out and contact every active family uh, in our church. Um, and then we're going to be establishing some, some central points of communication to where if you have any needs, any questions at any time, uh, you'll know exactly where to call, email, 
uh, and certainly you can access us online. I, I would encourage you to stay as connected as possible uh, through social media, our website, and email so you have all of the information. And uh, I, I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a good season and God's going to work. And uh, be intentional about engaging, even though we're not physically gathering, uh, through all of the uh, opportunities uh, that God's given us to do uh, online. Pa Pastor Tom, kind of as we close out, would you just kind of maybe share a few thoughts about how as a church we can we can come together over the, the next few weeks or for the foreseeable future uh, to make ministry effective? Sure. So remember that the whole campus is going to be in virtual lockdown mode, and uh, that's impacting the way that we're doing schools, college, and academy, and uh, really complex issues about dealing with the rescue mission. The church can be central to helping this move forward in a healthy way and uh, we believe that we'll be better together and that we'll get through this by being together and uh, we want you to let us know what your needs are and uh, we want to do what we can as a church body to care and to help our people uh, through what, what is obviously becoming a, a social crisis and uh, we know that everybody's going to face some real economic challenges. Let me just challenge you to uh, think about that uh, we still have obligations, responsibilities as a church, and if everybody will do their part, everybody will take seriously their responsibility, uh, we can help one another and come through this better than we've ever been. And uh, while we don't know how long we're gonna be in this kind of operational mode, I can promise you this, if we trust God and put into practice what we know to be true from God's word, we can be better on the other end of this as we walk through this path um, that we have in front of us as a, as a community, as a church, and uh, as a nation. And uh, let's, uh, let's pray that God does things that defy even our own imagination. I hope you have a great day and know we're praying for you and want to see God do great things in your life.